Have you ever wondered about a raindrops family? Let's drop in on Papa Cloud and Junior Raindrop. Uh-oh. Junior, get up. Get up. It's time for you to visit your Mother Earth. Oh, Pop. Let me stay here with you. Stop your pouting. And mind you, behave yourself. Get along now. Off with you. So long, son. The automatic cloud gates open wide and out tumble millions of earthbound raindrops. Ouch! Fine welcome this is. Mother Earth can't kick me around. I'll run away. So, Junior joins a group of other raindrops looking for excitement. The bare soil speeds them on their way. Nobody seems to care what they do. As he passes by, Junior hears some plants talking. Some are so sick from having too many cows and sheep chewing on them, it will take years to get well. Other plants are dying from the same cause. They say unless fewer cattle and sheep are allowed on watersheds like this, ruin will follow. Gosh, I hope this watershed isn't made better. Because if it is, we can't slide on it anymore. Oh, well, let's leave Junior to himself for a while. You know, little runaway raindrops love forests where too many trees have been cut down and rangelands that are overgrazed. They especially love burned over spots like this to dig their heels into. These hoodlum raindrops leave a trail of erosion wasting soil that is needed to grow plants for grazing cattle and sheep, and trees for timber, soil that is needed for growing food, soil needed to store some of that water. They choke streams, boiling water needed for our farms, our industries and homes. They leave silt in reservoirs, wasted work. Reservoirs are built to store water, not mud. Well, I wonder what's happened to Junior. Just what I feared. He's formed a gang, and they're whooping it up for a flash flood. They're rushing down the canyon. They've made a wall of water 20 feet high. Look out! Too late. Now Junior is a real outlaw. No longer satisfied with flash floods, the gang is planning bigger and wetter floods. Junior is getting dangerous. He's getting tougher and bolder every day. Now he's tough gangster. Heading for the big time. Raging along. Waging gang war. Robbing. Destroying. Killing. And all because somebody started a forest fire. Somebody cut down too many trees. Somebody put too many cattle and sheep on this range. Well, sir, Pop Cloud is pretty disgusted with man's carelessness. He knows it isn't Mother Earth's fault. She just isn't getting cooperation from enough people in the USA. Everybody is affected by the way watersheds are managed and everybody ought to do something about it. It's too bad Junior didn't know his watersheds and land on a good one. Junior and all the other raindrops could be useful if they're treated right. If they were welcomed on a cushion of plants, trees, grass, and leaves, 
They would seep slowly through the earth into springs, trickle into streams, keep house for the fish, <laughs> and play with fishermen's lines. They would splash in lakes and pools and fill irrigation ditches with clear drinks for farm crops and orchards. In ever-increasing numbers, they would use their excess energy to supply power and light for people's needs. Supporting ships of commerce, the raindrops finally enter the ocean. Until more people cut only trees that can be spared without damaging the land and plant seedlings as needed, improve their management of rangelands by allowing no more cattle and sheep than there's grass to feed and reseed when necessary. Until more people are careful not to start forest fires, we can't expect little raindrops to behave. So Pop Cloud has signaled the sun to bring Junior back. It's time to talk things over about how Earth folks, for their own good, should play fair with raindrops. Gosh, it's good to be back here with you, Pop. I'm glad to have you home again with me, son. 